what's up everybody tweets here um in this video i am going to show you how to override modded armors and clothing so like my last video on overriding modded weapons this one's going to be kind of similar but with armor so pretty much first things first always go to your p drive create a new folder call it whatever whatever like whatever mod you're overriding and then uh yeah so you create your folder now if you're just overriding inside there you don't really need a data you're just gonna need put your turn fig when you get to it so once you have your folder in your p drive you're gonna go to steam Go to day Z on your list, right click it, manage, browse local files, workshop. Now it is a hidden folder, so make sure you go to view and toggle on hidden folders. And then go in there. So workshop, look for the mod that you're gonna want to override. Um in, the, in this case I'm just gonna do one of mine. Once you get it into their where all their pbos are you're gonna have like i mentioned in the last video with materials tools you just double click it if you have materials tools installed so we're doing armor so i'm gonna open my pbo up here inside there you're gonna look for and some mods will have all their stuff in different folders you're gonna look for what you want to override open up their config and it'll look just like this. So you're pretty much gonna want, let me just make sure it's only this config for right now. All right, you're pretty much just gonna want just under CFG vehicles where that little bracket is. And then up here to where CFG patches is, you're gonna copy that, create a new, paste it. All right, so now you got that pasted over. What you're going to want is you're going to take from where the damage system is, just right here. You want all the way up to here. So you got the base classes and then their, their base class. And you're going to paste that underneath that bracket. And you don't need anything else other than damage system if you're overriding damage system. Now, if it's like a vest or something, and you want to change, like, inventory slots and whatnot, then you can add that. But, and an and item size, you can say you wanted to make it, like, smaller in the inventory. You can keep that in here. So then, two by two takes up four slots. Um, other than that, just get rid of everything else that you're not changing. You don't need anything that you're not changing. Just like that. So that's what you're gonna want. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top CFG patch name on their original config, or you'll notice it from where you uh, copied. You want that class name. Copy it and add it to your required add-ons like this. And then you're going to rename your CFG patches and your new turn fade to whatever. So I'm just going to put sample override. And then you can get rid of units. So it'll look something just like that. Now, you're not changing the class name because you're overriding what they already have. So that way, when you add this PBO to your server mod and add the mod to your server, it'll override it, and then all anything in their mod with that base class will change. Um, you can also up the hit point for the health to make it more durable, so it doesn't get ruined as much. But don't go too high. Um, don't go crazy. I've noticed if you do like crazy high numbers it won't work it like throws it off 
So I would stick to 7,500, maybe a little more, but don't go too crazy. Um, and then obviously the global armor. This is the protection. Now, the lower the number on the global armor, the better the protection. So say if a vanilla plate carrier or something like that would probably be close to 0 0.5. So if I went to 0.02, that is a lot stronger. Now, if I went to 0.01, be even stronger, and so on. So 0 0.01, um, even stronger. It would be crazy strong. Um, so you just add that. Now, shock is obviously when you get hit by a bullet or something or a grenade, and you don't die, but you get that stun lock. So that's what shock is. So the lower th that number is, the less you're going to get a stun lock. Um, you could just set that to 0, 0.0 and it removes, or just 0. And you won't have any stun lock, just like blood damage. Um, and you do that for each one. So this is projectile, so that is all bullets. Health is melee. So you have melee damage, infected damage, and then grenade damage. But once you get yours to what you want, so say I wanted to lower this and remove the stun, that then I just do this to each one, to whatever I want it to be. Just like this. And then I close it off. We're closing brackets. And then boom, that's overridden. And now, say you wanted to add another item. Now we're going to pretend that this, I went into another item. It's the same thing. So we'll just pretend this is a vest for tutorial reason. Go over and just copy. You don't need the second clothing now because you already have it. Or the first one. And then just underneath the second to last bracket, paste it. Then close it out like that. And then same thing. Delete what you want to change don't want to change. And only keep what you want to change. <clears throat> and that's it. Now make sure if you're doing from multiple trend fades that you always add the required add-on from each trend fade. So if you uh, went to another config and there was vests, it would have probably like, say, um, TWK alien vest instead of helm or vests. Um, just take whatever is in CFG patches on each of the configs that you're overriding and put them in your required add-on on your config. You can you put all your overrides into one config. That is fine, just as long as you have all the required add-ons that are on the top of each one of those turn fades, the CFG patches class. And then you just put them in one by one. So say I was adding a vest, I would have... Something like that. Um, that's if... This was a vest and fake, but it's not. That's pretty much it. Um, and just like uh, multiple retextures in the same turn fade, blah, blah, blah. You only need the top base class if it's clothing once. So if you're adding another item, you don't need it at the top again. Because it's already here. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. You just keep doing that. Um, adjust what you want to keep, what you want change, everything else, delete, and then that's it. And then you just uh, save it. Go into your folder in your P drive, C++ for the type file, and then config. Done. <clears throat> and then that's it. That's an override of that mod and then you pack it into a pbo add it to your server mod and then boom 
and then it will override those items on your server to your new armor rating and new inventory slides or whatnot, whatever you changed. And that's how you do that. That's uh, pretty much a basic override for modded items. Um, to do the same thing for all like all their vests, helmets, whatever. Uh, as long as you just keep in their class name and change what you want. Everything else you delete out just like I just did in the video. And make sure you have your required add-ons. That's it. If you have any questions, my Discord will be linked below. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.